So the first thing you want to do is install Infuse, which is a new app just came out. Pretty cool. It lets you see your hands in VR and control your controllers. Connect your Quest using USB to your computer and make sure you enable developer mode. Um, I'll leave a link in the description on how to do this. You can use side quests if you want to. And then click here to install the APK. You can do this manually on the website, but if you just click here, it's a lot faster. And it'll say it's installing, let it install. Okay. When it's installed, it'll say install to your quest. So plug in your controller that you want to use, and let's say your wheel or your throttle, and it'll say here, connected controllers. And then here under the model library, you can pick the one that matches your controller. So right now it's still the basic stuff, but I'm sure they're adding more in the future. So mine is a throttle, um, it's a T16K throttle. So I'm just going to add TWCS throttle here. So that means the model will show the same model I'm using in real life in VR. You can adjust some settings here if you like, cockpit adjustment if you like. And here you can adjust your ALVR settings. This is basically the VR streamer that goes to your headset. So the way it works is it, it streams to ALVR. It doesn't use virtual desktop or, or uh, Oculus Link or anything like that. So it, it uses a fork of ALVR and it sends it to your headset. So you don't need other software for this. Just infuse and it goes straight into your headset. And here you can adjust um, the settings. So for example, I'm going to put it at 90 hertz and you can adjust the resolution. You want to higher, encoder preset, quality, blah, 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 blah. Honestly, if you don't know what you're doing, don't touch ALVR settings. So once you've connected, SteamVR is running, put on your headset and launch Infuse. It will be under unknown sources. And it will bring you to SteamVR. So the way this works is it uses hand tracking with ALVR. It's a fork of it and it's pretty cool. So on the side here, you can see this button. I am, you tap it. Here you can see all the things you can set controllers for like mouse, fighter sticks, wheels, pretty cool stuff. So I've bounded mine to the Logitech wheel. Even though this is a G29, it marks it as a G920. So it works. So here you can press here to change the uh, what kind of uh, button you want. Mine's a car, so it has a car. Settings is where you adjust the positioning of it. So to move it around, just grab it with your index finger, and move it around like this, then match it to your real life uh, steering wheel. Okay. Once you're done, you can let go and you can adjust the rotation here too if you want. And the size, capacity, you can turn on x-ray too. So it goes, blends into the, the um, wheel like this. It's really cool x-ray, if you like. Translate. You can change the color if you like. Um, I like the x-ray option, it's pretty cool. So once you're done, you just close it. Just close out this here. And if you tap on the side, you can bring up all the controllers you want. So I have a game, I have a joystick here, which I'm not using, so I'm going to turn it off. So now you see it tracks your hands and your steering wheel. And the good thing about this is you can press the buttons you need. So without looking, so you know, like, let's say you don't remember what buttons are here. You Now you can see it in, uh, in, in VR. You don't have to take off your headset or turn on your headset. You don't have to take off your headset or turn on, turn on mixed reality. And it's really cool to see your hands function like this in VR. So this is, a, this is definitely a game changer if you ask me in VR.